Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. This one was uh, requested, of, requ blah, 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 requested of me to make a helicopter. No, you know, just a regular helicopter with the tail and everything and whatnot. Nothing special, no Avatar class helicopter or dual bladed or whatever this other stuff is. Just your run of the mill, simple helicopter. I actually found out that this was actually uh, pretty hard to do at first mostly because of the fact that i have not played around with robotic stuff for helicopter like vehicles now yes i did that uh, airship which was pretty cool you can go ahead and check that out if you can big old airship that could carry a really heavy payload in this case a big tandem dump truck but that was sort of on the easy side only because of the fact that i didn't have to worry that about that counter balance of the in the tail that you usually get with normal everyday helicopters the airship was more like a really overgrown sized drone but to make an actual helicopter helicopter you know one that we use every day that needs a tail in order to stabilize itself I was surprised at how difficult it was to try to build one in this game mostly like I said before because of the fact that I really didn't know what I was doing I found I found out in in the end that a lot of the testing and trial and error was pretty much all for nothing but I did learn a lot and that helped with uh, that's going to help later on with more builds as because uh, i'm intrigued now so i, I want to see if i can't make some more interesting looking helicopters later on At this point, I was trying to understand how much RPMs do I need on either or the engine. And so I was under the impression that you need less RPMs for the tail rotor than you need for the actual uh, engine to, that picks up the entire craft. Mm, I, was, uh, I was actually really, really wrong with this theory. But um, like I said, I was learning a lot before I found out that everything that I was doing was completely wrong. Funny thing about it was that I knew that the tail had something to do with the yaw. And at first it didn't seem like the thing was flying very well by itself. So I went into action groups and I started making adjustments. Mostly turning the on and off switch or the RPMs for the tail rotor and tying that into the A and D key by going into the action groups. And on the bottom of the axes it's, uh, it shows um, yaw. And so what I did was I clicked on the engine and tied it into the yaw commands which is the a and d key it seemed to work for a little while it was working a lot better than anything else i was throwing at the problem at the time but i was still getting a i was still getting a headache trying to control this thing obviously because the yaw was being completely controlled by the tail itself and nothing else i had mistakenly turned off most of the blade control i guess you can say when in actuality i really needed that control from the blades for some reason i was under the impression that it wouldn't work if i I had just left all the blades, given them all the control, and just put the throttle to control the RPM limit of both engines. I also played around with the blade angle of attack, or the angle of deploying, deploy, you know, well, bleh, you know what I'm talking about. So I found out that a good deploy angle for both of the blades was around 9 degrees, give or take. Doesn't seem like much, but it really helped with the stabilization.
At this point I was at fuck it, so I just put the main throttle on both engines and turned the blades on so they controlled both yaw, pitch, and roll. And as soon as I did that, the whole thing just freaking magically started working 80% better. It was still a little unruly, but I could actually really control it a hell of a lot better. That's when I found out that if uh, left to its own devices, the SAS would control the blades, would pitch the blades in such a way where it would be able to control the craft by itself without any input from me, without any manual input. The engine still had plenty of torque, so turning them on or turning them off still spun the craft out pretty hard. So if I started the engine up immediately, it would spin the craft up a little bit, and if I stopped the engines immediately would spin the craft pretty hard. Now, of course, this can be, this whole thing, that that kind of thing can be, be stopped by simply a combination of having an action group to turn on, uh, to turn off the um, deploy angle of the blades so the blades don't create lift anymore and it can just sit there and spin and then you can throttle down slowly instead of stopping everything when one's fatal swoop. But yeah, I was surprised after all that hard work and trying to figure out how to make it work, I realized that it was actually pretty easy once I figured out how to do it. Simply get both of your engines or electric engines, put them on throttle control in your action groups, make sure all your blades, the pitch, yaw, and roll are active on the helicopter blade type A and propeller blade and whatever else you want to use. But that's pretty much it. Just make sure that the tail blade has enough oomph to handle the torque from the larger helicopter blade engine part and you're fine. That's the only two things you have to do. Throttle both of them and Make sure those blades are active on their pitch roll and yaw. Oh, and of course, the main blade that picks up the entire craft makes sure, make sure it's in line with the center of mass. But other than that, it works. I can imagine if I had way more time, I'd have probably gone for something more snazzy looking. But it, it flies pretty damn good. It's not perfect. I'm thinking maybe the tail blade meet, might need a, an extra an extra blade or a little bit more power but other than that it does pretty good well everyone thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you like what you saw please leave a like to help with the algorithm and if you really like what you saw consider subscribing i download almost every wait uh upload upload yes upload almost every day i've been a little slow these holidays but then again holidays are usually the most busiest for me so i've been uploading like uh, every other day or something like that but that is all for me today Wait, what? Yes. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.